This way for the langostas. For the lobster. Woo! Right here, lobster time. All right, guys. So we just entered Puerto Nuevo in Rosarito. That's right. It is a fishing village for lobster. Right when you enter, you can smell the butter. The fresh seafood and lobster is right along this coast right here. There's like a bunch of establishments all selling lobster. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, people are like just telling us to come in, but we are here at this one. So why are we at this location? And also, can you tell us a little bit about Puerto Nuevo? Yeah, I mean, Puerto Nuevo is known as the lobster village. We're here for lobster, actually, in burritos. Ooh. We're gonna eat some hand, uh, handmade flour tortillas. Beans, rice, butter. Can you Ooh. smell the butter? I can smell the butter. I literally <laughs> said that right when I exited. I smell the butter. Yeah, and the lobster and some salsa. Woo! Mexican style lobster. Yeah. That's Baja. Awesome. Lobster burritos coming soon. All right. This is a DVW cribs right here. Our balcony, the balcon. Woo, this is beautiful. You smell the ocean? Guys, right when I entered Puerto Nuevo, I smelled the butter, all the fresh seafood and lobster right away, no cap. You literally smell it. Wow, look at this. These are the vibes, guys. So this is Puerto Nuevo, the lobster city, and right over there, you guys see the boats? That's where they go fishing for the lobster over there. You guys can see them. The most important, right? The most important, tequila. Reposado. Reposado. Awesome. Muchas gracias. La Casa del Pescador. Ooh, okay. The Fisherman's House. The fisherman's house, ooh, that sounds welcoming, warming. <laughs> Speaking of warm, we got some warm sopa right here, right? Soups, let Sopa de tortilla. Ooh, sopa tortilla. It's like a broth of chiles and maybe chicken broth. Ooh. And tortilla cheese, you know, all the goodies. The calm before the storm, before the uh, <laughs> lobster burritos. <laughs> Let's try it out. All right. Ooh, yeah, super comforting. Comforting, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. I'm like a tomatoey chicken soup, queso fresca with the tortillas inside, tortilla chips. So again, nice and soft in the soup. A welcome to the fisherman's house. That's right. All right, and we got some chips and salsa, of course, obligatory for any Mexican restaurant, all right? Okay, that sauce is one of the best sauce in Baja. Smoked chile de árbol. Ooh. You know chile de árbol? Yes, it's in a salsa matcha, right? Yeah. Yeah, Th that's right. It's like really spicy chili. It is really spicy chili, mm -hmm. but it uh, has a lot of flavor. So some of the best salsa in Baja, California. Don't mind if I do. Go ahead. Go easy on that, please. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, smoky. 
<laughs> told Hits you. you right away. Smoky. Told you. Super smoky. Mm. Great flavor. Is it hot? Creeps up on you. Subtle. It's getting there. Oh. Getting there? It's like a rising smoke in a chimney. You're like, you feel it. You feel the heat. It's flavorful though. Very smoky. Adrian here told me that Rosarito has some of the best margaritas yeah. ever. So They invented it. They invented the yeah. margarita. Yeah, so for sure. Rosarito invented the margarita, so we're going to taste some of the OG margarita right here. And what do you got there? This is like a uh, margarita without alcohol. Oh, okay. It's so like a lemonade. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, flames. So smooth. You don't even taste the alcohol in there. <laughs> it's like so refreshing too. I think Mexico has made some of the best drinks I've tried in Cancun, Cabo, Rosarito. Their drinks are insane, guys. This is a fish. We got lobster, uh, Puerto Nuevo style, which is deep fried lobsters. Deep fried. Yeah, traditional way. All right, guys, the main beast is here. Look at this plate of lobsters, guys. They have big lobsters, but Adrian recommended us to get these small spiny ones because those are the ones that pack all the flavors. Sure. Good yep. things come in small packages, right? That's right. <laughs> totally right. Size doesn't always matter. Or does it? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pack our lobster burritos. This is what we came here for. So we got the fresh handmade tortillas right here. Proven to be fresh, because we saw her rolling it downstairs. You can watch her. So we're gonna put some beans, line it with some beans. You can make it however you want. Right here. All right. I like a nice thin layer. I'm gonna nice. add some arroz right here. Some rice. The lobster. main part, the lobster. Let me choose which one, guys. This one looks nice and juicy right here. Doja Cat juicy. So you're gonna grab the lobster right here. Take it out. I like how they split it for us already. Oh, yeah, look at this. To split it, yeah. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look That's at that. Right. Just comes out. Oh, it's one. Don't want to waste any of the goodness right here. Still a little bit of meat in here. Just grab that. And if you don't want it in your burrito, you just eat it. Mmm. Oh, put another one. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, lobster. another lobster. Okay, yeah, so sure, two pieces man. of go lobster. Ahead. All right, let's do it. So two lobster per. I mean, it's two halves, so it's... Two halves, okay. Yeah, it's one Two lobster. halves for one lobster. This one's being a little bit stubborn. All right, so some butter right here. I'm gonna just throw it right on the lobster. Nice. I like it extra buttery. Chile árbol salsa. Chile de árbol. I like this salsa a lot. It's a lot of flavor. I'm gonna add a lot of this. <laughs> Even though I'm not a spicy eater, I love that flavor. Can't forget the lime. Lime bay right here. Yeah. And then we roll up that roll yep. up, like a fruit roll up. All right, so roll like this, both sides. Yep. And then the other, Woo! call this DVW Chipotle right here. <laughs> Look at that. Go ahead, dig in. I want to see your face. Right, right. I just want to see your face. You're eating lobster with beans and rice. Lobster burrito, guys, my first. Well, Rosarito style. Literally, an orgasm in my mouth. I didn't expect that to taste how I how it tasted. Why? Like, it's just so much flavor. Like, it's not just like a regular burrito. The flour is handmade, so it's really fluffy. But then the lobster. Good thing you picked the flavorful one. It's so flavorful and sweet. It's like really sweet. The langostas, right? Yeah. Langosta is super sweet, and then the butter, and then the salsa just gives it like a 3d flavor i've had lobsters in different ways you know okay. fried lobster like grilled, and grilled lobster you know i like like an american restaurant surf turf regular asian lobster this is a fried lobster right yeah that's fried lobster fried, deep lobster, fried lobster deep fried lobster it's kind of similar to chinese stir fried lobster so it has like a nice flavor already has a nice flavor to it really flavorful and sweet it's packed with flavor and also they cook it with a shell and that's mm -hmm. like very different, Whoa. just to tell. Oh, gotta take another bite. Mm. Wow. 
he, he really loved it. This is heaven. So good. <laughs> oh my god. Probably one like top ten things I've ever tasted is so far. Well, lobster in general is just like a delicacy. But uh, with beans and rice, dude. Yeah. And meat tortillas. That's so Mexican. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Last bite, best bite. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. It's not just that the lobster is really good. Everything complements it, like the salsa. And then also this tortilla is just like so thick and voluminous. It's almost like a thin non bread. Yeah, no, it's like thin non bread. Yeah, it works. Yeah. It's like really fluffy. It's like a pillow. Mm. Oh, the langostas right there. Chili Bay right there. Show us that. Ooh, this is the real Chipotle right here. I suck at rolling burritos. We're gonna get Adrian's take on this. Let's do it. So he split his uh, burrito. Smart right. man. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, awesome. All right. A 10. 10. 10. 10. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we can do a little bit of more. He loves the chilies. Mm -hmm. I love this one. I think the key for um, our lobster, I mean Baja lobster, is that we cook it with the shell and we deep fry it. So as, as well as the bone, it gives flavor to the broth or whatever you're cooking. It's the same with the lobster. I think for me, that's the key. And obviously, you know, deep fried and butter, that's it. Facts. All right, guys, so we had the lobster burrito. Let me just try a piece of the lobster in its entirety right here. Ooh, look at this. Eat it the old fashioned way. Right here, just gonna dip it in some butter. Look at this. Right here. You know what, I'm gonna put some chile de arbo on it. <laughs> Mm. The lobster itself is so sweet, juicy, succulent, and there's a nice thin coating of like crispiness because it's deep fried, like Adrian says, but ooh, just the freshness of it because you know it just came out of that sea. You can literally see it being fished. The freshest, straight from the ocean to table. Fire. All right, I had my lobster burrito. Adrian has lobster burrito. There's four left, so there's only one thing to do. We're gonna make a four lobster burrito for Darsh. You think you can handle this? We'll see. <laughs> All right. Don't worry about it. Yeah. All right. The grande lobster burrito right here. Cuatro langostas. One. Two. Two. Crazy. Literally crazy. Look at Darsha's face. His eyes are glued to that lobster. <laughs> oh, butter. Gotta do the extra butter. Movie theater butter right there. Don't forget the salsa. Some heat. The moan. Finishing touches. Just a little. All right. All right. Sides. And rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll it up. I'm going to cut it. Yeah, I probably should have done that for mine. <laughs> Voila. Woo. The legendary four lobster burrito right there. Juices. You can see the juices right there. Look. Buttery and sauce. 
Look at that. Saucy. Butter, salsa, juicy. Doja cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That four lobster burrito right there. <laughs> Do you taste that cockroach? The cockroach of the sea? I actually see, ate cockroach see. in um in Mexico City. Oh you did? Yeah. It was good? Yeah, cucaracha. <laughs> <laughs> I like the scorpion better than the cockroach. Yeah. Less juicy, right? Is it good? Uh, Raider, uh, rated 1 to 10? This guy can't even speak right now. <laughs> 8. <laughs> like a 12. <laughs> I think he needs a sip of margarita. He's speechless. Oh. Yeah, honestly, I could say words, but it won't do justice until you, you come here personally and try it yourself. This is amazing. Amazing. You can trace, taste the freshness. It is so fresh. You can tell that it came right from the ocean. And the flour tortillas, like Dan said, they have like a non-like quality. Thick, fluffy. <laughs> these are the casualties right here. The casualties right here, all these lobsters. Thank you, lobsters. You have blessed us. This is the vibes guys, fresh seafood and ocean view. So this is how much this feast ran us, 1460 pesos, aka $73. That's a steal if you ask me, if you get a lobster in California or somewhere else in the US, it'll probably be 73 just for one. All right guys, so yeah, overall this was a great experience and great day discovering Puerto Nuevo, the hidden lobster village in Rosarito. Everything was great. The vibes were great. You know I love lobsters, so I was loving all the fresh lobster burritos. And this place was very comforting and homey, but there's a lot of restaurants like this all around the village of Puerto Nuevo. I'm sure the other restaurants have different styles of fresh lobster they can offer you. But this is the one Baja recommended to us. So yeah, make sure you guys follow him for some more great Tijuana Baja Cali food videos. I'll drop all his links down below, but we're also touring more of Tijuana and Rosarito on this same trip. So make sure you guys tune into that. So yeah, please like this video. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for us, if you guys have been here before and what you guys think of Rosarito and Baja California. And yeah, subscribe for more DVW food and travel vlogs. Deuces.